Okay, cool. Let's see. Huh. Launch one, launch one, because I want to test my. I want to. I want to test it after this. Okay. I just want to see what, what it looks like in third. Oh, yo, that is sick. It looks way better than before, man. Oh, that is sick. I'm trying this. <laughs> How do you switch to it? Uh, middle mouse button. Middle mouse button. Ooh. So, how would I launch? Do I just... Uh, uh, you, you... You use... Uh, what was the right mouse button to select how many you want to arm? The right mouse control. button. Yeah, and then left mouse button to launch. Can you buy the Herc in game yet? No. Haven't... Nobody responded, bro. I asked everybody. Nobody responded. I'm gonna have to go and like literally check for it. I think everybody wants well, to check out. I would imagine Crusader. that they would sell it at a at a Ryzen. We didn't see anything like that. That's that's what was what we were looking for, but we didn't really see anything. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna launch it. So you said to launch is to hold the right mouse button. No, no, no. no. It's to set how many uh, missiles you want to arm. Okay. To launch, I think you just press left mouse button. Left mouse button. Oh, shoot. It's not launching. Oh, now it is. Okay. You know what? The missile launch mode is actually not hard. It's actually easy to switch over to with the middle mouse button. I, I like that. That's cool. Yep. And uh, I think it's. G that switches between the different missiles. G. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. Tempest 2. Okay, you launch, you launch, you launch the Tempest 2. It's too lock again. Middle mouse. No, middle uh... mouse is to switch over. I to missile operator automatically mode. Automatically, you start locking uh, on your target now. Oh, yeah. Right. So how? What, what, so what can you do with missile operator mode? Hold on. And, and depending on like how strong the lock is. Yeah. Uh, you want to be fired. Uh, so how do I how do I get a, a stronger lock? Because the circle isn't like I seen somebody make their circle get closer. Like it it determines right. how accurate Get's it is. Close. Well, what type of missiles are you using? Tempest twos. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. so it has its optimal lock range. Well, if, depends, if I'm too right? close, if I'm too close, it loses its accuracy. Look at that; it's losing its accuracy. And so they don't. So they don't have a strict cutoff minimum range now. It's just a lot less accurate. Okay. Yeah. So you can shoot them dumb fire. You can do dumb. You can use them as dumb fire as well. Just gonna spam size ones. <laughs> yeah. So now I have a perfect lock on him. Doing this, yeah, being. G, do multiple. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. How do I do the multiple? Is it right? No, no. It's it's G. G. I think it's All right, somebody start a timer. Oh, I've locked three. I think I might take you out with this. <laughs> All right. Well, also, it depends on what type of missile there is, right? Because there's IREN and cross section. Um, so, you know, IREN, you want the bigger signal. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yo. Dude, it took all my shields out. Holy crap. I'm still alive, though. Do you know what temp what the Tempest dot is, uh, Mututu? Um, I think it's an EM, if I'm EM? not mistaken. I'm not sure. Okay. Let me see if I did any physical it, it damage. Shows you, it shows you right there. It, the marker uh, underneath Tempest. That's cross section. Oh, you're right. It's cross section. Okay. So okay. If, if if you're locking him from the front, you're not going to get as good a lock as if you're locking him from like the top Above because him. you're yeah you're going to be able to see mm. more of his from the top. You can't from the side or from the front. How much did that hurt me? Let me check. Let me check. So you were at 99. It did nothing. You're at 99.19. It took, it took out completely, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so weak. Are those like 